Hey, what's up everyone? Eric Ross with the guy with the eye. And I wanted to share a technique that I recently started to use and I'm gonna start implementing a lot more in my photo editing. So right now we have Adobe Photoshop CC opened up and I'm gonna take this, um, just this image that I took in Philadelphia uh, on the City Avenue of the Arts. And I wanna show you, I'm gonna make it a little more cinematic, more drastic looking. And it's a really, really cool effect you can add to even portraits just to give a little more emphasis and to change your style up a little bit. So here it is, check it out. It's actually very, very simple. So in Photoshop, it's extremely simple. The main tab, the main, um, the main thing we're gonna have to look at is just the adjustments layers and all the stuff that we're gonna do into it. It's not that long, it's a simple, quick steps, interpret it as you want, it doesn't matter. Let's dive into this right now. One of the biggest things we're gonna work with is adjustment layers and, a, and maybe one specialized effect thing just to ramp it up a little bit. So one of the first things I like to do is make this a non-destructive edit, meaning I'm gonna copy the background into a new layer, I'm gonna name it Philly Background and go from there. So that way, if, if you mess up on mistakes, you're not killing yourself, you're on different layers, which is really, really key. So that's why we're gonna use several different layers and adjustments. So that way, if you mess up, you can go back and it's something easier to essentially fix. So one of the first things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring up a black and white tab. So bringing that up here, now don't, so don't don't worry, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not gonna be that bad. But essentially what I'm gonna do is just kind of let that go, stay on here, but I'm gonna drop the opacity down to say like 60 whatever something percent. Essentially it's saturation, but it really knocks down a lot of the, a lot of the other details, uh, a lot of the other colors, so that way we can get something really contrasting dramatic, you know, in, in just a couple of minutes. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up uh, another adjustment layer and we're gonna mess with our curves. Now our curves are gonna get access to our, you know, the mid-tones, highlights, everything, and then you can break down individual colors, um, obviously uh, right here. So essentially what I'm going to do and how we're gonna mess with this is, I, I mean, I might just leave this, you know, so let's just bring, let's just bring this down a little bit. Um, let's go in to mess with some of the colors. So we're gonna make this really dramatic. Yeah, again, that little blue tone that lot that does not look that bad. Bring that up a little bit. We're gonna give that a little bit of red. So a little bit of swoop is fine. Let's bring up the green now. And the green I'm not gonna change much. I'm just gonna do just a little bit of a slight adjustment just to kind of get it off center. So you can kind of see the movement that we're that we're making, uh, you know, that's that. This is the uh, red and blue ones, the white one. And then the blue, let's just do a little bit of an adjustment. Let's move the back end up here slightly. Just move that up a little bit. We're still getting that look that I want. Dip that down here. And let's just drag this down. That's a little too far. So I'm actually liking where that's at um, pretty much. So as you see, oh, here, I'll, I'll open this up again. So as if you wanna see, that's essentially what we're looking at. I made slight adjustments to each uh, to each thing. Now, excuse me, I need to take a drink of water. Ah, so refresh to side, I'm gonna open up another one. I'm actually gonna do another curves, um, another curves appeal. And I'm actually just gonna take right here and just drop it all the way down. I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna do it that far. Um, but I'm gonna do it a, a significant amount, something like this, for example. Um, yeah, I'm feeling that that's a, that that is a good thing. So we'll do that, close that out. Let's see, what do I wanna do next? Um, let's mess with the exposure a little bit because I did darken everything a little bit. But let's just bring it, let's just bring this up. You don't wanna bring it up too much. So I'm kind of feeling, I'm kind of feeling about 40. I don't, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm getting old. No, I'm feeling about uh, 0.4 is a, it's a little better, you know, just to show you. It just kind of gives it a little bit more of a brighter cast. If you want to do a little more, go for it. You know, all depending on uh, the type of look you want to get and how dramatic that you want to uh, get that to look. So the next thing we're going to do, go back down, hue and saturation. 
Once again, we're going to mute the colors just a little bit more, but you don't want to go too, uh, too insane. So let's just drop it. I'll say about 20. So it's very, very, very slight, but you're getting that, that, that dramatic cinematic look that you might have really, really wanted. So that's it right there. We'll do one more and then, um, let's actually mess with the, uh, the contrast a little bit. So let's, let's bump this bad boy up, giving it a slight boost. I kind of want to make it a little more bright. You know, so it's something more. You can see brightened it up. Just, you know, just doing a little bit more. And I am pretty happy with the way this turned out. And I'm going to add maybe one more specialized, really dramatic effect. So let's take all of this off so you can see where we actually started. So once again, this is where we started right here. You know, just duplicated this layer. I added a black and white layer to really tone down everything and uh, bring it down. I brought that down to about 60% opacity. We messed with the curves just so you can see what the curves looked like. I went in individually and messed with the red, blue, and the green. And to kind of keep things organized, I just went in and messed with the actual RGB curve, the white one, and just dropped the middle down just slightly. So we bring that up here. So we're getting that cinematic look in 100%. So now we're going to take the exposure. As you can see, we brightened it about 0.4. So just to give a little bit more brightness, hue and saturation, just so you can kind of see what we did. Just pulled back just a little bit more to mute down the colors a little more, still keeping that dramatic look. And then brightness and contrast, as you saw, I brightened it a little more, up the contrast a little bit, and I think that's a really, really special effect. So I would be happy with this. Uh, you know, once again, it's that look you want. It's that grungy, cinematic look that you want. But if you want to do something really, really, really interesting that works with sports, but I'm going to give a, a tilt look uh, kind of effect, a tilted uh, shift kind of effect. I'm actually going to go to the background layer that I duplicated, so this Philly one. Going to go up to Filter. I'm going to go up to blur and I'm not a fan of adding blur, but you know, this is a fun thing. I'm going to add a Gaussian blur and ooh, it actually came out a little more than I want. So I'll give it to about four pixels and guess what? Everything is blurry now. What do you do? Well, it's actually not that bad. Don't get worried. So we're actually going to add a layer mask on this one layer. It's not anything new. So I'm going to add that here. Make sure that's selected. But the most important part, and for get this effect to work, you're going to need your paintbrush tool, which is right here. You know, eh, that's, good. that's a fine size. Is Sometimes it might be on white, sometimes it might be on black, but you want black in the foreground to paint on this effect. And to easily show you what I mean, you'll see that City Hall right here is going to be in focus. Now I might do something kind of interesting right here just to get a little, a little bit cool of a look. And maybe coming down... The road might be a cool little look. You know, something right here might be a cool effect that you could just paint on and obviously go nuts as you please. But, I mean, that's really a hell of a leading line. I like the way the shadow's hitting this off the fortune sign. You know, and I really, really actually like the shot like this. I love the look to it. Once again, let's take, so this is where it was before this effect. This is where it is after, before, after, just something different, something new. So did you really, really like this tutorial? You know, once again, I think this is a really, really awesome effect that you can bring out and do yourself. So if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Fun tutorial, something fun you could do. Hope you enjoyed it. Eric Ross, the guy with the eye. Add a cinematic look to your photos. It's going to look really freaking cool.